Falcon News. I'm Lakin. And I'm Emmerich. Today's is Friday, January 5th, 2024. Now to Oakland for today's weather. The forecast today is cloudy with a high of 37 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. Now let's check in with Emmerich for today's lunch. Today's lunch is cheese pizza or chicken burrito. Now to and now to Lakin for today's birthday. We want to wish a happy birthday to Josie Raymer and on Saturday to Jocelyn Jacobson and Saturday to Lily Raymer. Have an awesome day and now to open with a special announcement. Congratulations to the Falcon Way class winners for December. First place goes to Mrs. Youngworth class Miss Youngworth's class. There was a three way tie for a second between Mrs. Sedemeyer's class, Miss Treberg, and Miss Dumming's class. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Hello, Wabasha Kellogg Falcons. This is Mr. Murtha here to talk about um, what we should be doing for recess here, especially as the weather is getting colder in our winter months. So are you dressed for the weather? All right. So let's take a look at our expectations through here. So starting out when it's warm, we're talking 50 degrees and above. You don't need anything, a, you know, a coat or a long sleeves required. You can just wear whatever you're wearing to school and you should be just fine. So it looks like this. Now, if it is below 50, but so in the 40s, we're talking about 41 to 49, we do ask that uh, that you wear a coat or a long sleeves. Um, now, this could happen later in the year too, where if there is snow on the ground, we still need you to be wearing snow pants and boots um if you want to play in the snow otherwise it's blacktop only um so that could be in on both sides of the playground make sure you're only on the blacktop um and that's just a key thing throughout this whole thing that if you want to be in the snow you shouldn't be in your your pants or sweatpants you should only be wearing um snow pants and boots that's kind of a common theme throughout here now next one here is if it's in the the 30 so 30 to, to 40 degrees you do need um, a, a coat. You also need, we're adding in that you have to have a hat and mittens, which this is gonna be where we've been at for, for a while recently. Um, and again, if there is snow on the ground and if you're, you wanna be in the snow, you have to be wearing snow pants and boots. Um, otherwise you're on blacktop only. Okay, and this is where it might be you know, common for Minnesota to be under 30 degrees here. So we're talking 29 degrees and below. A little bit different for different parts of the building so when it's this cold we want all of our youngest students so if you're in preschool through second grade to be wearing coat hat mittens gloves snow pants and boots no matter what okay so at this uh temperature limit for the third through sixth graders um again same as over here coat hat and mittens and gloves but the difference would be here that we're not going to require you to wear snow pants and boots but again if there is snow on the ground and you're going to be in the snow, you have to have your snow pants and boots on. Otherwise, you'll be in blacktop only. Okay. Um, next thing here is now what happens if it is too cold to go outside for morning recess? So, again, this is that time from 7, uh, 7.30 to or 7, 7.45 to 7.55. So, preschool, what you're going to be doing is if you're the three-year-olds will be just staying going to the falcon nest, and the four-year-olds will be going to Mrs. Day's room. Now, uh, the rest of the building has a little bit different things going on. So kindergarten and first grade, first of all, just keep your stuff with you. So if you are getting off the bus or coming in, you know, getting dropped off by, by your parents, do not go to your locker first. Um, you guys will be going to the movement track in the commons and just going around there. Um, second through fourth grade, um, again, same thing. Keep your stuff with you. Do not go to your lockers first. Um, you'll be going directly to the small gym, and you're going to walk laps around the outside of the gym. So I know that Mrs. Shield has a lot of cool things going on in there, but those are for her class when you guys go to, go to Phi Ed. Um, you just need to be walking around the outside of the gym um, during your time. 
And then the last group here for the elementary is fifth and sixth grade, and you can just stay in your hallway. So we're so all of this is we're not going to our um, to our classrooms, and then the only ones that can stay in like basically by their lockers would be fifth and sixth grade. All right, that's all I have. So you guys just keep being safe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.